Like what? What salary range are you in now? So I'm a little over the uh, six figure range. Uh, nice. With the new job, yeah. Mm. And this is like my first year, you know, doing the whole tech thing, and I'm like starting off with low six figures, which is crazy to me. Hey, Stefan, thanks for joining me today. It's been amazing to see your growth over the past year. So I was wondering, so where were you career wise when you first started working with me in my GovTech Career Blueprint program, and where are you at now? So before I was a uh, police sergeant, I've been in law enforcement for about eight years. And where I'm at now, I'm currently transitioning into uh, my new job as a Linux system administrator. That's amazing. So how are you able to get an, into a Linux system administrator role from being a police officer? So pretty much just following your blueprint um, as far as studying for the Security Plus. And there's also another certification that you mentioned that a lot of people don't go after, which is the RHCSA, which is to be a certified uh, Linux system administrator. And I was able to obtain that through a um, a boot camp called Yellowtail Tech. Yeah, yeah, that the Red Hat, um, the RHCSA is a certification that a lot of people don't go after because it's like it's really hands on, it's an intense. But by the time you're done with it, it definitely helps you um, prove that you can be a Linux system administrator. What did you know about GovTech before you started mm -hmm. working with me? Absolutely no idea what GovTech was. Only knew about like the private sectors, like you know Netflix, Amazon. Uh, Google, those companies, I had no idea about the government sector. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people aren't familiar with GovTech. So before you made this transition, did you have any experience or any other tech certifications or did you just do like police work your entire career? Police work my entire career. I literally had no experience, no connections, nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah. so what did you find most valuable about the GovTech Career Blueprint program in the community? So I think the most valuable thing that I got from it was of course the certifications to get into it. Like mm -hmm. I didn't think it would be that simple in order, yeah. like all you need to do is just get the certification. And actually there are a lot of jobs in the government sector that's looking for these basic certifications. So that's the most valuable thing I got it. Oh, and also searching for those jobs, like going to the clearance uh, you know, website mm -hmm. and the USA Gov's website was definitely valuable to me. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people they they think that it's not true that you can like literally get these certs and then start seeing all these jobs, but mm -hmm. once you actually start looking and you start looking at the job descriptions, you'll see that a lot of what they're looking for is is soft skills and like analytical skills and troubleshooting skills. And then once you add those certifications that are requirements to make you qualified to work these different roles, it becomes much easier, right? And then also, you know, we help you with your GovTech resume as well. Absolutely. So what was your biggest career transformation that my program helped you achieve? You don't mind elaborate, like, I guess the difference between what I was doing and now? Yeah, or? like so I guess so you went from being a police officer to now working in tech. So, you know, what what do you feel like was that biggest transformation that took you from police work to being a tech professional? Gotcha. I think the uh, biggest transformation it would probably be finances and you know the quality of life, remote work. I think that was a huge transition because, you know, I'm, I always have to be there and I'm working like 12 to 16 hours a day. And mm -hmm. now I get to work from home. I got to go into the office, you know, once or twice a week. So I think those transformations are definitely the biggest for me. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of money transformation did you see? Like the salary jump from jumping from a police officer to jumping into tech? Like what, what salary range are you in now? Right. So I'm a little over the uh, six figure range um, nice. with the new job. Yeah. As a police sergeant. I kid you not. And it's not all departments. The department that I was at, I wasn't making six figures and I was eight years in. Mm. And this is like my first year, you know, doing the whole tech thing. And I'm like starting off with low six figures, which is crazy to me. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So your first tech job, you're going straight to six figures, working in GovTech for a Linux system administrator job. So are they sponsoring you for your clearance? So not right now. I'm just doing mm -hmm. public trust right now. However, they yep. said, you know, future projects. I'm definitely going to get, you know, they're going to sponsor me for it. So I'm excited nice, about that. Nice, nice. So you're getting your foot in the door. So they're starting you out with a public trust and then you're going to move up from there. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. So what made you sign up for the GovTech Career Blueprint program in the first place? So I think it was your, you know, just your story. Like we spoke about before, we had, I felt like we had a lot in common and just the way you laid all of the information out. And, you know, I started to gain that trust from uh, from you, from watching all of the, your videos and also seeing the other testimonies from other people that uh, joined your uh, GovTech Blueprint. Definitely, definitely. So would you recommend the GovTech Career Blueprint to other people that want to get started in GovTech? Absolutely. I'm actually trying to get my brother into it. So all of the people that, you know, see me 
elevating right now. I'm just like, yo, you got to check Simone out, this girl Simone Bees. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you got to put your family on once you get into this industry, man. And once they, you know, he gets his security plus, and if you help him get his uh, Red Hat certification as well, you can refer him and then you can get money to refer him as well. So that'll be pretty dope. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, so I'm excited for you, excited for you. So thank you so much, Stefan, for coming out. Thank you for sharing your story with me. And for anybody else who wants to be like Stefan and get their first GovTech role, definitely check out the first link in the description. I have my GovTech Career Blueprint program, first link in the description below. Thanks, Stefan. Thanks, Bees.